We go to the phone. We're waiting on the other end is Chris Vardo. He's the head baseball coach for the Towns County Indians. Coach Vardo, thank you so much for being on Blitz today. Uh, no, not a problem. Now, Coach, you're two and eight overall in the season, two and six right now in region play. Dissect the season so far for your Indians and how you feel the teams progressed throughout the year. We've uh, come a long way. We, I think we are definitely improving. We're getting more confidence uh, in the batter's box as far as swinging a bat. We're starting to uh, put the ball in play and hit the ball with a little more consistency. And uh, that, I think, all started off with uh, my leadoff hitter, uh, Billy Meyer. I think he's caught fire. He's seeing the ball real well, putting the ball in play, hitting the ball and squaring up pretty well. Uh, defensively, we, we've shown some signs that, that uh, we can we can uh, play with anybody in the league, but the problem is, is that we got to be able to uh, learn to put it all together. Uh, we have to learn to put uh, all three phases of pitching, hitting, and uh, defense together. And up to this point, we, we put together twice, but uh, and we're, we're, we're starting to progress, and we're starting to see that come around. Uh, as the season goes on. Um, some individuals like uh, Alan Turpin and uh, Kyle McConnell who have really stepped up. Taylor Denton has definitely shown some uh, some life and some sparking. And we're, we're getting there. Um, now, Coach, I was also going to ask you about your depth on the team, and you've kind of already gotten into that a little bit. Uh, how many seniors do you have, first of all? Talk a little about that senior leadership that you've got and then the rotation in the lineup and then where it goes from there. Uh, we have uh, eight seniors uh, on, on my uh, ball club, and uh, um, again, that that's, uh, that gives us some uh, quality senior leadership. Um, we uh, it starts with uh, individuals that, that I've spoken up before, and, and they've been here, they've been around the block. But uh, we've also had some seniors that I, that are now just seeing a lot of a lot of uh, playing time. Um, you know, they've been they've been uh, called on. To, step up and, and uh, produce when uh, they, they haven't had to and, and some have answered the bell. One guy that uh, definitely has done that so far is Taylor Denton with the stick. Um, he has two home runs on the year and uh, he's swinging the bat very well. He's, he's got some uh, key hits uh, when, uh, uh, when when he's been called upon to do so. Uh, but we also have some uh, young kids behind him that are, that are pushing him. Uh, they're learning. Uh, they're 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 getting there. And, but again, with those younger kids, there there's some growing pains with that. Um, that uh, but that will come in time. All right, coach. Now let's let's kind of look back a little bit. 1988. We'll go in that time machine and go back that far. Uh, Towns County won a state title. The School of Hayesville won a state championship as well. Both those teams in 1988. And never got a chance to play to see who is actually the better team that year. Uh, and now talk a little about that game that was supposed to take place the game that never happened, the excitement that goes into that, and how that's kind of um, fueled the rivalry um, between Hayesville and Towns County. You know, uh, I, I think that there was, there was a lot of excitement about uh, that game. You know, uh, living in this area for a while, you know, you, you hear about the 88 state championship teams on and uh, who was better, who is, who is not, this and that, you know, especially since I worked with a couple of uh, individuals who were on that team and, and uh, I was talking to a couple of the, uh, of the uh, players from the other team, and, and each one gives a different side of the story, who is better, who is not. And, and, and you know, it, 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 uh, it's, it, it creates an interesting debate about uh, which team was actually better, you know, uh, who, was, uh, who had, had the better players. But uh, uh, I, th I think it does play in well. I mean, Hazel and, and Towns County, I think, both had uh, have a uh, natural rivalry, especially being on... Uh, bordering counties, uh, we have uh, similar kids, and the kids uh, do intermingle socially, and, and uh, which creates a, a atmosphere that you know uh, of good competition. Um, the uh, whether it's basketball, baseball, uh, football, whatever it might be, uh, I, I believe the uh, kids on both sides uh, get up for that game uh, because it, it gives them a sense of uh, bragging rights and, and whatnot, and and. Uh, and the state championship and who was better and who was not, I think I think it did add a little bit of intrigue and interest and, and a little bit of more fuel for that for that game. I mean, we have alumni from both sides uh, watching that game, and and, uh, and then uh, we could say that that uh, which team was better that year. So I mean, it it, it does it did create some excitement, some uh, some discussion, and, and I know uh, it would have been an interesting game. Uh, 
That is very interesting, Coach. And uh, Coach Fardo, we thank you so much for taking time to be on Blitz today, and uh, good luck the rest of the way. And we hope you, we hope to have you on here again sometime. Thank you.